Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I'm Jawad Tehami and these are the headlines. Pakistan has rejected the so-called charge sheet by India attempt to, attempting to implicate the country in the last year's Pulwama attack in occupied Kashmir. In a statement, the Foreign Office said the charge sheet is designed to further Indian government's anti-Pakistan rhetoric and narrow political gains. Soon after the attack, Pakistan expressed its readiness to extend cooperation with India on the basis of any actionable information, but India failed to provide any credible evidence and has been using the attack for its malicious propaganda against Pakistan since then. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan says there is no military solution to the Afghan conflict and that a negotiated settlement is the only way forward. Speaking to the chairman of the Afghan Council for Reconciliation, Abdullah Abdullah, over the phone, Khan said Afghan leaders must seize this historic opportunity to achieve an inclusive political settlement in the war-torn country. The Prime Minister said Pakistan looks forward to the early commencement of intra-Afghan talks. Iran has agreed to grant UN inspectors access to two former suspected nuclear sites. The deal was reached during the visit of IAEA chief Rafael Grossi to Iran. Iran's president Hassan Rouhani says Tehran will continue cooperation with the UN nuclear watchdog. India has reported the world's highest COVID-19 spike in the past 24 hours with over 67,000 people testing positive, taking the tally to 3.2 million. In Pakistan, 12 people have lost their lives to the virus overnight, taking the death count to 6,267 with over 294,000 infections. Globally, the pandemic has infected over 23.9 million people and taken more than 820,000 lives. And that is all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Coming up next is in a special.